We're here in the Peak District because Scarpa has launched a fell shoe. Scarpa have been making technical mountain footwear for over 90 years and a few years ago they launched their first trail shoes and then new for 2023 they brought out a fell shoe. So we're here in Dovestones to go and test them out. So being a fell shoe it needs to be good for descending and a good fell shoe should give you stability and the confidence to cover uh, rough, uh, technical and muddy terrain. So once I knew this shoe was coming, being a local, there was a couple of descents round Dovestones that I knew would really give it a test. So I looked them up on Strava to see if there was any segments. As soon as I spotted this one, which is called Dead Man's Descent, we all decided that that was going to be the best one to test it on. Here we are at the bottom of uh, Dead Man Descent and I'm joined by Howard from Scarpa. We're going to uh, get ourselves up to the top of the hill and uh, see how we get on. So I guess uh, this is only the third time I've, I've worn these and it'll be the first time that I actually try and run quickly in them. But uh, what's your experience been so far? Yeah, oh, they've been amazing. All the Scarpa athletes in the UK, we've all been, you know, asking for these shoes. And do you remember when... We had that really hot, dry spell about a month, two months ago, for a month. Oh, the hot, the, the, uh, the hot from May to the end of June, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, we all got the trainers when that <laughs> hot spell happened. So we're all like, oh my God, like we've all got these shoes now and there's no mud and wet and slop <laughs> yeah. anywhere for us to yeah. go and test them out. So I had them, you know, I've, I've, I've had them for a good two or three months and then, you know, started testing them out properly, say maybe eight weeks ago. Yeah. Um, because that's when it started raining and it hasn't stopped it, since, until today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I'd say I've worn them more than ever in the last six weeks, four yep. to six weeks, and they've been, ah, they've been great. Right, we're here at the top of Dead Man's Descent. We've just uh, trekked up it. Um, yeah, it's looking pretty technical and much more rockier than I remembered. But, uh, you know, we're here, so, uh, yep, we'll give it a go. That is mental. <laughs> oh, dear me. That is well Good done. Good, isn't it? That is <laughs> nuts, isn't it? In terms of the shoes, absolutely spot on. We were talking about the ankle guard. Did, yeah, did, yeah. Did you feel that at all? Um, it's, I, I think, visually, isn't it? It's the most noticeable feature when you first see it and you think, hmm, uh, like it's, it looks like a bit of a boot. Yeah. Um, I have totally forgotten that it's there. Yeah, the same with me. And, like, I didn't like it to begin with. And in performance-wise, because I was really unsure about it when I first, because I thought, well, it's not close enough to keep mud out. There's hot, there's gaps in it yeah, that you can yeah, get. it's not like um, a gator. Yeah, no, not as tight as a gator, but... but uh, might have actually nailed it, yeah. Yeah, no. So it's only been my uh, third time uh, wearing these shoes, but uh, I guess you've done a few more miles in them than, than me. Yeah, I've done quite a few training runs in them um, when I first got them, and then I did the Pinnacle Ridge Extreme Race, yeah. um, which is up in the Lake District, a, a sky race, and absolutely loved them uh, they were they've performed really well on you know a variety of all surfaces the technical rocky trails and then it, it's got a really good bit of um just like almost like a vertical grass section yeah and going down there they were just all the sideways grass but there was also it would be like that for a couple of yards and then it would change to scree and then it would be shale and then it would be boulders and rocks and bits of everything so it, it was so interchangeable it was like you wasn't on one kind of terrain for very long one of the other noticeable features is it's got a new lace lock um and i think i covered in the intro that um we're still sort of not sure about it but um 
Howard's because uh, he's had them for a little while. He's he's uh, he's got the technique for getting them right, and I think I think that's that'll solve any issues that anybody might have. Grab the laces at the top, middle finger, push it down, pull them tight. Two outer fingers, click. Wrap it around your little finger. Stuff it up in the tongue, and there you go. To be honest, with the record being so fast, absolutely had no thought at all get anywhere near it. We actually think there could be a chance of getting the CR. Well, well, you you were egging me on, weren't you? Yeah, I think you've done it. You, th you think, I uh, see, yeah. I'm not so sure. I've I'm got everything. So we're just going to look now, and uh, I think this is the right run. Second place, so I didn't, I didn't get the 36 seconds. That's actually quite a lot, really, isn't it? Although, to be honest, I thought I'd do well getting anywhere near four minutes, so. But, I don't know, must have had a good breakfast this morning, or maybe it was the shoes. You beat your personal record, and at the start, you did say all you wanted to do was beat your own personal record. Yeah, yeah, which, was, yeah. which I thought was quite quick, but actually was quite, maybe quite slow. It was like five minutes, but there we go. <laughs>